I think the most amazing thing I've always said about Derek is his ability to relax in every moment. Uh, no matter what the situation is, he's always been able to relax. Somebody asked me to, to use one word to describe him, and I said trustworthy, because I looked that word up in the, in, the, in the dictionary, and it was basically someone who's there for you all the time, and you can count on him, and, and that's really all uh, a number of things that certainly fit him. You know, for me, he's number one, uh, you know, because I got to play with him, and I got to see how much the game of baseball meant to him. I saw Daryl playing for uh, 19 years in the big leagues and some years in the minor leagues. And all I saw was determination and desire to be the best. All the success he had in 96, uh, you would never expect that out of a 20, 21 year old rookie, especially playing in New York with, with all the attention and the, the fame he got right away. His popularity was so much bigger than anybody else's. He was the face of the Yankees, but he never put himself above anybody else. He was a great teammate and a fun guy to be around. Today, September 7th, 2014, the New York Yankees are pleased to pay tribute to the captain, number two, Derek Jeter. Upon his retirement from baseball, at the end of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field the captain, number two, Derek Jeter. In my opinion, I've had the greatest job in the world. I got a chance to be the shortstop of the New York Yankees, and there's only one of those. And I always felt as though that my job was to try to provide joy and entertainment for you guys, but it can't compare to what you brought me. So for that, thank you very much. A game to play. Well, Derek Jeter's teammate further honored Derek just now. He ran out on the field thinking his teammates were behind him, and he was standing at shortstop all by himself. Turned around, there was no teammates there, and he waved them back onto the field. He's getting the roll call right now here at the stadium as he salutes the bleacher creatures. Here is the standing O for the captain. to come through pitch is hit in the hole to deep short the jump throw by Escobar not in time it's a base hit I have never seen anyone in sports seize the moment like Derek Jeter he hit a ground ball in the shortstop hole he beat the throw and there's a base hit and he's going to make second as the throw from in front that hit Derek in the back well, that's an intangible. I don't know if you can credit Derek for it, but maybe you could. What did you think of all the pregame festivities? It was awesome. It was it was something that uh, <clears throat> I'll always remember. Uh, you know, the Yankees know how to throw big ceremonies, and uh, to be a part of it, having all those people come out there and honor you and show up and show their support and the fans the way they've treated me. Uh, you know, this was a day that I'll remember forever. You know, the fans have been awesome, whether it's walking the streets, going out to eat, or here at the stadium. Someone's phone's ringing. Walt Reinheimer. <laughs> Tell me good? Hey, Walt, should have to call you back, buddy. <laughs> Today, you think about it because of all the things that are being said, uh, but up until this point, um, I've really tried not to think about it. I. I it's been very difficult to do, uh, but I have no choice. You know, I, I, I have to stay focused on trying to win games. And it'll be the same thing on, we have tomorrow off, it'll be the same thing on Tuesday. You know, we need to focus on winning games. So it may be a little bit different the last homestand. I'm not sure because um, I'm not there yet, but uh, I understand what our focus is. Greg Gibson 
the home plate umpire motioning to both players. And the Dodgers celebrating in their dugout. That's into the right field corner. Robinson, nice catch for out number one. Well, I am a wizard from the future. Boom. I'm a real doctor. You had your walk-up music created. Who would compose it and or sing it, and what kind of music would it be? Uh, you know what? That's a good question.